Hi there, Sasha Varel here with day two of the Villager Prison Project. You probably guessed it's not literal day two as far as in game, it's simply day two of the series. Uh, but every day that gets recorded is the important part. That is a 10 minute segment. And it occurred to me that I had not taken a lot of time to explain uh, scoring and whatnot, so I'm going to go over that on this episode, as well as explain a little bit about what I'm doing here. Um, first things first, since this is a prison project, I figured we could probably skip a lot of time in, you know, not having to waste a lot of time gathering resources by having a default and regulatory starter kit. That starter kit comprises of... Four stacks of stone, two stacks of basalt bricks, two stacks of stone brick, uh, one advanced chainsaw and diamond drill. At least one of those I've already run completely out of power. Uh, let's see. One leather vest and pants. Standard prison uniform. Well, warden uniform. <laughs> Ten bread, which I've already eaten three of. Uh, one RP2 battery box and two solar panels from that pack, as well as five pieces of red alloy wire. Uh, let's see, we've also got one IC2 solar panel, and one IC2 macerator, and I believe that's it. Yep, that would be it for the starter kit. What that does is it just helps to speed things up a little bit. Yes, I know this doesn't work. I was supposed to put redstone or something into these panels, and I'm not 100% sure why that's not working, so I'll just go get some redstone later on. Anyway, long story short... Uh, scoring also includes a variety of things. We talked a little bit yesterday about what awards negative points, like 10 points off for a harmed villager, 50 points off for a killed villager, and 100 points off for a killed player. Um, we should probably cover what adds points, because adding points is also awesome. While we're doing that, I'm going to dig a little bit, because I really, really need redstone. And this prison needs a basement, so why not? Plus, I've got some torches this time. Yeah, I'm moving up. It's pretty awesome. I'm going to dig down, by the way, because I'm feeling lazy. And I know you're never supposed to dig straight down, but I'm going to do it anyway because I don't care. Caring is not on my list of things to do. Why did I pick up that freaking snowball? All right. Oh, man, I am tired of snowballs right now. <sighs> try to clear out the foundation for this place you would have no idea how much snow i wasted anyway some things that add points uh let's see distance of the waypoint that the prison occupies from the village waypoint basically that means um that means i'm tired of snowballs is what it means <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know what? Come here. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, let's just get rid of a bunch of these since I don't really need them. There we go. That's better. Anyway, what that means is that the waypoint we set for the prison site, which is right here, uh, whatever the distance is from the village waypoint, which is out there, is how many points you get. In this case, uh, it's a point per meter. So we've got 181 points right there, just for setting up the prison that far away from the village. Now, it's worth noting that we do need to get villagers from the village to the prison, so simply having it far away is not enough to, you know, award you a whole metric pant load of points, uh, because having a prison far away is all well and good, but it doesn't do you anything if you can't actually get prisoners to it. So, um, yeah, we do need to get prisoners out here at some point. Uh, let's see... Some of the scoring criteria include every villager who is safely inside the prison every single day is, uh, let's see, that is 10 points per day per villager that is inside the prison walls safely. Uh, currently, we don't have any for day one or day two, so there's not going to be any points awarded for that. Oh, well, uh, let's see. Every single functioning room that the prison has at the end of uh, the entire, you know, whenever we decide the prison's finished. Uh, is 50 points per functional room. That would mean like a holding cell like this one, although this isn't finished yet. Um, a cafeteria, an industry room, an exercise yard, whatever the case may be. Also, there will be a thousand points awarded for a fully constructed prison, which does mean it needs, uh, you know, power, basic manufacturing and storage, uh, 
either individual cells or holding cells for the villager prisoners. Yeah, exercise yard, uh, entertainment of some kind. Yeah, you can come up with whatever, whether it's an inside roller coaster or whatever the case may be. Uh, so on and so on. And that's only scored once again at the last uh, day. Something else that's going to be awarding points is you guys. Uh, basically, what I'd like to do for that, uh, to get you involved in the scoring process a little bit more, is in the comments, you can leave uh, any amount of points you want to add or deduct for any reason whatsoever every single episode. And they will be added to the following uh, in future episodes. So, if you want to, say, add or subtract 30 points, 100 points, you know, whatever the case may be, just put it down and, you know, whatever the reason is. It doesn't have to be anything sensible. It can be any reason you want. And if it gets at least 10 upvotes, every point awarding or deduction that gets awarded at least 10 upvotes by other viewers will be added to the scoreboard regardless of how, sense, how much sense it makes or doesn't make. So there's that. Um, it's also possible that you can uh, vote to add uh, blocks, gear, whatever the case may be, uh, to uh, any given day of uh, prison building as well. I can't guarantee that the building stuff will get added immediately because of the way I record these episodes, uh, but the points will absolutely get added to the following episode every single time, guaranteed. So, definitely vote on that. Pretty sweet. Speaking of voting... I thought we'd do a little bit more of a positive word today. So, today's word of the day is salubrious. Salubrious is a nicer way of saying pleasant. I suppose you could say uh, you could apply that sort of term to someone's behavior or uh, disposition. We have a very salubrious uh, subscriber base, for example. I'm probably saying that wrong, but I don't care. I'm having fun. If you're wondering why I'm digging to my inevitable doom, since digging straight down is an almost certain recipe for disaster, I need to get somewhere where I can get redstone. I'm almost at the altitude I want to be at. I am at 18 meters from bedrock. Well, from zero, anyway. And I want to be at about 12. 14. So two more blocks down. And then we'll start building the prison mine shafts. Let's get some ladders up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good times. Nothing like a ladder to make your day, huh? True that. So, the snapshot was released today, the 13W01A snapshot. They are adding a lot of redstone stuff in the 1.5 update. Uh, which, if I'm not mistaken, will be coming out in February. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I'm personally a huge fan of Redstone and have been ever since its inclusion in the game. Um, I've just always, always loved it. Uh, maybe a little too much sometimes. <laughs> I've just always had a, a thing with Redstone and all the you know machines and contraptions and devices and logic puzzles and whatnot you can build with them. Um, and it's one of the reasons I love uh, mod packs so much too. Because I think they add a lot to the game. I think they add um, a lot of depth, a lot of, uh, you know, character, stuff to do, frankly. You know, you look at something like this mod pack, for example, uh, FTV, and there's so much added to the game uh, with, with industry parts and computers and turtles and, you know, other dimensions. And it's just so much added with every uh, mod that's in this pack that, um, you almost don't know where to start. It's crazy. But it's so much fun. I mean, you'll never run out of stuff to do. You'll never, you know, be bored for lack of something to build or something to create or something to design. Um, and I really, really like that. Truth be told, I like that about Minecraft anyway. But uh, I think modders have added a lot of depth to the game uh, that is uh, appreciated by a lot of people. I'm debating just leaving snow for the floor here, making these guys just stand in snow because, you know, why not, right? It is a prison after all. It's not supposed to be a luxury resort. Uh, I'm starting to wonder if this is less a prison and more a, like a retirement home for villagers. <laughs> Stuff them inside, protect them from monsters, etc., etc. We'll have to build a liquid pond to get that oil up later on. That's okay, though. 
Well, the sun's starting to set on day two, so there we go. Be sure to, in the comments, vote if you want to add or subtract points for any reason whatsoever. Today we've not had any villager fatalities or injuries or player fatalities, uh, but unfortunately we also don't have any prisoners over here. So the only points added so far are the 181 points for distance from village center. So be sure to hang around and join us for day three of the Villager Prison Project. I'll try and add guests as well uh, in the coming days, including David and Toby if possible, as well as anybody else who may want to drop by. And we can have some extra hands building on this prison and adding their own commentary as well. Um, guests, I expect, will probably be adding their own scores <laughs> in addition to that. So anyway, th thanks for coming by and hanging out here for Villager Prison Project Day 2. Stay tuned for Day 3, coming up soon.